people, you are watching the biggest action tournament in the world ever right now. It is also being live streamed on Brad and Kyle and by this guy, this is our homie right here. This is Emil, check him out. Full stream TV and Brad and Kyle, subscribe to both. And subscribe, please. Emil is one of the best in the business. So, biggest action tournament in the world, thousand dollars to get in. We have 20 something people bowling all across. It is a high game pot. Every game, the winner gets, it's over a thousand. I think it's like 1500. Second place gets paid. That's what we're doing. We got $50 brackets. We got, we got everything. So, I mean, yeah. It's been a while since I've been on TV. Oh, Do you guys even know who this guy is? I don't bowl. We need to right now plug in a video of how they would know them. Just how they would know how you. How do you know him? Just a little head flip US Open, what, 2002? Pretty when you were, when you yeah, were four? <laughs> So yeah, I'm not good enough to strike on that rack. You just gotta switch it up. Then your opponent's like, man, he got lucky, but really. too far ahead of me. <laughs> Dude, these are so hard. This is like that, um, uh, the first day of US Open, that long pattern that was just stupid. I don't know, it's like they make it to where it seems like you can play outside, the scores are coming from outside, but it's so finicky that if your hand isn't in the perfect spot that you don't want to play out there. But then I got crumble on my pair. There's something to it. Get, get, get crumble and slow-mo. We'll, we'll slow it down and then we'll get me in slow mo. I wonder what the difference is. I bet you, Crumble's getting there and the ball's just coming off his hand. Nice and easy. And I'm getting here going. <laughs> That's an accurate representation of my bowling. But it is, uh, Norm would say, a high hard hand. You can't have a high hard hand. And that's what I'm doing. I'm getting here and getting whippy. 
The second you get whippy, the ball hydroplanes. So we need a uh, low, soft hand. I guess that's something. breathe after that gag job dude I was ain't I just to let you guys know I'm gonna be completely honest I'm trying to hit one down lane so anything other one two is acceptable that one hit like 11 down lane I got right here and I was like who am I I didn't even feel like myself but uh it was a step in the right direction. I don't think I cashed that game. We got second. We got second? No, oh, money back. No, you didn't win. You didn't win. Midnight. There's always hope. We got four frames in. Seven baggers are nice. Eight baggers are nice. Last chance to maybe break even. I gotta win this game. Again. St. Charles, St. Charles Lanes, Midnight Bowler Society, Brad and Kyle, not the result we were looking for. Have a good night, everyone. All right, midnight's over. We're having a beer, the beer of choice, right now at least, because my good buddy Sax that you may or may have saw earlier bought me a beer. But uh, yeah, thousand dollar entry tournament. Two things. Dirt, go that way. Trying to do an outro. outro. You're outro. Just, you're just hey, what's up? Out. What was the outro? Can I ask? What, it, what did you still say? It's taping still out. Out. What did you ask? This is We're all staying there. How did you uh, tra or, uh, transition? Transition. I like that. Yeah. How did you transition to the outro? Uh, what were you saying? 
I was just recapping the night. How did it get to me? Cause you I'm a random dude. Just <laughs> standing, walking, walking. standing yeah. right there. This is you. This is no you. one knows this is you. Brad or Dennis is in your you. Hello? Hello? Brad! Brad! He's getting closer to the camera yelling. <laughs> oh, oh, so I made myself into the you made oh, I, I completely apologize. You wanna you wanna end it for us? It's been a rough night for everybody here. That is Except for true. maybe what, four people? Probably two. Two? Two people. And I have to say that uh, I cannot wait to see this on the podcast. Or the YouTube video. Cut that. He's showing his age. Podcast. That's what all the old guys oh, say. Anyway, oh, uh, midnight's over. It's been a rough. I think Brad Goose egged. I probably lost like two thousand dollars. But had a great time doing it. It is an You're awesome tournament. That? On the YouTube, <laughs> yeah, we let the, people the amount know, of man. money that you lost. Yeah, you why not? You lost two thousand dollars. Um, but uh, this man right Thank here, you. Danny, oh, guys, gotta get him in the vlog. Got these two right here putting on this show, Midnight Society Tournament, Bowler Midnight Bowler Society. Man, half a beer and I can't even talk. Midnight Bowler Society Tournament, dude, seriously guys, listen. If you're a competitive bowler out there and you want to make money bowling or bowl against pros, challenge yourself, you just want to bowl something super fun, come out here, it's a great time. And if you can't, we're going to promote the crap out of it. It's a fun time to watch. So next year, we're going to make this as big as possible. Uh, thank you guys for watching. It's a rough night for the Brad and Kyle channel, but ain't nothing like you guys haven't been seeing for the last four months. So, we out. Uh, what we got next, Dennis? We got Nationals. Nationals. I don't know if we're vlogging Nationals. USBC gets weird with the camera stuff. Nah. Then the Lucy. Then the Lucy. And then everything else. But anyway, that's it. It's midnight. So we call it the Midnight Bowler Society. I'm just rambling. We'll see you later.